hey guys it's your girl mimi welcome back to today's video guys i got another degree <laughs> welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about how i converted my hng to a bachelor degree and without further ado let's just get straight into the video i'm super excited <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys i want to say a big thank you to all of you who take your time to subscribe to like to share it means a lot to me thank you so so very much thank you so straight into today's video you know i don't come here to talk about things that i've not tried huh i went to a journalism school in nigeria so i finished with an hnd and people have been asking me a lot of questions can i come to canada to do masters if i have hnd you know all of those kind of questions man i'm going to be answering all of those because i mean i was in the same exact shoes as you but <sighs> this one i'm actually it's a big deal for me guys trust me so i Ah, mama, looking fresh, yeah. Okay, how I got a bachelor degree from Liverpool John Moore University, guys, is with my HND. Is what I want to be sharing with you in this video. Hopefully, it helps someone. Okay. So, just to answer the question straightforward, no, you cannot do a master's degree in Canada with your HND. Not possible. What you can do is that you can go to another college with your HND to do something like a PGD, you know, like a postgraduate diploma, and then use that to do a master's, something like that. I didn't want to be in that situation. I love education. I wanted to do my master's as well, and I knew that not having a bachelor degree is a big deal. If I knew this when I was taking my HND, I wouldn't have gone for HND because HND takes you five years. To finish you do two years nd go for one year it come back another two years and that's total of five years plus you now have youth service on top of it it's not like total of six years and you're not even doing a medical degree i studied mass comm guys anyways so yeah it's been it's been limiting but what even pushed me to get this bachelor degree was something that happened in my workplace back in uae I was applying for a particular position that had opened up in my in the organization that I worked for and you know I've done the first interview and it was I got a positive feedback from the person who was interviewing me you know you know like when a position opens up in-house so you know the person that is interviewing you because you've worked with that person right so the person told me, told me straightforward like I, I like you like I like you for this position and all of that and it was actually rooting for me if i'm being fair then put me forward to the hr because it was the manager the hiring manager that was talking to me at that moment and then the hr actually reached back to him and told him that they only wanted people or someone with that the criteria for that particular position is a bachelor degree at that point i find myself explaining that you know hnd is kind of equivalent to um a degree you know like it's an associate degree and all of that but they didn't want to hear any of that they just want someone with a bachelor degree no offense but that is what pushed you know that pushed me to say you know what i don't know what else or the position i'm going to be in the future and somebody something like this can open up and someone will tell me oh i only want someone with a bachelor degree so i knew that was going to be a problem for me you know if I, I just i don't like rejections so i decided to do something about it now to how i got this um uh, to how i got this degree is that i started making my research i realized that hnd which is higher national diploma is actually a uk system of schooling 
that's why in north america you'll be wondering like they don't issue you any hnd certificates here you either have an associate degree or you have a bachelor degree a master's degree or you know like those kind of stuff or a certification so um this is just recognizing canada as a diploma you know even if it's an hnd it's still recognized as a diploma so i started doing my research i'm like okay all the research were tilting me back to uk back to uk back to uk and then that's when I knew that, okay, this UK, this HND thing is a UK, because you can also get HND from UK, right? You can go to UK and do an HND uh, diploma course there. So there are a lot of schools in UK that do a bridging course whereby you already have an HND and you now decide to, you already have an HND and you want to do a bridging course to get a bachelor degree. So you take another one year course uh so you then take a one-year course to get your bachelor degree that was what i went for upon my research i saw this particular school liverpool drum moves and then i started looking at looking at the fund i started looking about like i was thinking the logistics how do i even combine it it wasn't just making sense at the, at the time but you know i started doing my research i then i'm like okay i also don't want to Another problem, there were a lot of schools that I could go do something related to media, but I also didn't want to continue in that line of media, you know. Um, the only way then that I was able to do this, because I, my, this degree is in business with finance, I then took another HND, <laughs> I took another HND, let me even go and grab that one took another HND from Pearson and then used that HND to get this bachelor when I finished I took about seven courses they waived a lot of courses because when they checked my my uh, transcript from my school NIG from Nigeria Institute of Journalism they saw that there were some stuff that are related and because I also did well they just decided to like waive some of those things so I took seven courses from Pearson so I, I actually do have another HND from Pearson London man god <laughs> before i got this and then when i finished i then submitted the transcript from that one plus my other one all of them combined together and then i had to take this particular course for one year the only reason why they did not accept is because i was going for something that is not related to what i studied and what i had in my hnd because i was switching to business and with and fine and taking financial courses things that i didn't do in my previous and to be fair i didn't do all of those things statistics accounting all of those things i didn't do in, in journalism school so i can understand why they wanted me to take all of those um calls for me to be able to do this now you know like financial risk management you know international corporate finance strategic management business consultancy all of those things that i have in my transcript right now was not there so Yep, that's how I got <laughs> my degree. And now that I have it, I'm so excited to actually apply and do my master's. Um, just because... Okay, this is a short break. Please, I know I'm interrupting you, but I do need your help to reach 50,000 subscribers this year. If you click on that subscribe button, it will mean a lot to me. And also, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, so, so much. Back to the gist. I love to study I love to challenge myself so just to answer the question straight up because some people just think maybe you know there's someone a bracatabra there's another there's a way there's a way there's no way they have to either get a bachelor's degree and then do a master's in Canada or go to a college in Canada and get your degree and then further do your master's in Canada that's the only way HND direct like your HND from Nigeria cannot get you a master's degree in Canada what your HND can do for you, however, is that you can take you can do a master's in UK with your HND. I currently have about four friends who we went to the same school in Nigeria together that are doing their H they are doing their masters with um, their HND in UK. Australia as well takes your HND for a master's depending on the school. One of my closest friends is currently right now in Australia taking doing a master's degree with a HND. So there are other countries, but if it's Canada, they are not accepting it for that. So 
Another thing that people ask me in Canada, since I'm just gisting you guys about HND and, and bachelor degree what whatnot, another thing that people usually ask me is, is HND equivalent to bachelor degree? So now it depends. If you're doing immigration, HND is something you would then choose when you're applying for. You know that place where you would choose a degree. HND is something you can pick as one or two degree from a university or college because you already have an ND and then for you to have an HND means you already have an ND so you that gives you a very good point I don't even think there is any point different when you have HND versus when you have maybe a two three points different from a bachelor degree to be honest so yeah that's an advantage if you want to verify your if you want to do uh, your certificate uh, verification which is like putting sending your degree to west to verify and to um give you a you can it like if whether you're doing a cause by cause verification or you are just you just want to verify and say this degree is equivalent to bachelor degree in canada so when it comes to verifying your degree, especially if you have HND, people usually ask me like when you do WES, did you get equivalent to bachelor degree and all of that? No. And people also don't understand that there are also bo other bodies. So I, there are also other organizations that you can use to do certificate verification. Uh, for my HND from Nigeria, I use IQAS and i'm just gonna go look for that to, see, to show you guys what um to show you guys what the equivalent that hnd2 so yeah west is there but i think if you have an hnd and not a bachelor degree don't use west nothing is wrong there but i just feel like iqs is going to give you a better report uh based on the way they see hnd let me just even let me grab that So guys, um, for IQAS, this is this is um, what they would say: comparative level of achievement in Canada. So IQAS is going to compare it as the higher national diploma generally compares to the completion of a three-year post-secondary diploma with a focus in mass communication. So they see this as a three years post-secondary um, education you can see that they don't see and if you look at the program description here i don't know if my camera is doing you is doing any justice but if you look at program description you're going to see two-year technical diploma program following the completion of a national diploma so this is you know credential authentication verified directly by the institution or appropriate authority they are going to contact your school let me know if you want to like know if you want me to do a video on like how to just start west or iqs from beginning to the end let me not just bore you with how i did it maybe you already know or if you think it's something i should do just to you know give more details to what i'm talking about so yeah this particular one is my iqs for my hnd from nigeria okay so i did promise you guys that i was going to show you the piercing that i did the hnd that i got in business and accounting that qualified me to take the business with finance degree which makes it the third hnd the you know third diploma that i have because i have nd and then i have hnd in nigeria and then i have this hnd before I got this particular degree as well. I don't know. I too like book But I'm, I'm tired now Anyway, this is it. The good thing that I, about this particular one is that I was able to take this piercing degree from UAE and Okay, I think that's also something I forgot to mention when I got the admission to do The school in UK was exactly when COVID so I got the admission and then COVID happened and then you remember anybody that got admission during the um, time that COVID in 2020 when COVID happened, you know that they allow students to just 
school completely from where they are especially if you're not in like degree like medicine or nursing or anything like that so that's how i didn't travel to uk i was able to take all my courses online so back to how i qualify for this particular program i was able to take this piercing um degree with westford university college because they had like a program that you can take together and i should be proud actually because i had a distinction in this one <laughs> I, had a, so I had a distinction in this particular one guys and i'm super proud of myself uh these are all the things that i didn't take so i had to take all of this business environment and financial management sales business strategy entrepreneur and small business management human resource management management accounting and um management and operations all of these things were just sounding like chinese that time i almost gave up thanks to my darling husband who said you can do this so yeah you can see this has the back side and this is the front side this is my notice of performance which is something you can call a transcript this is the degree this is my iqs for nigeria and then finally my liverpool the next resort or certificate that's going to be joining this by the special grace of god in jesus name is going to be my masters so yeah i'm i'm happy i'm just i hope this encourages any girl out there or just anybody out there who you know you just want to do more it looks as if your own process is not as straightforward as everybody else's own you know some people just go to school finish their bachelor go straight to their masters you know but if you if you if you if you're like me who like the road was not straightforward for you first of all you took a change later you have to take this one to go this one you know don't just give up on yourself and i don't I, long time ago i've learned not to compare my life to anybody else's own just do your own thing your own time everything will just eventually you know come out well and i just now it sounds like i'm preaching this is emotional for me and god just directed me to where i am today and i know that the sky is the limit there's still way more to do um and i'm, I'm all going to get there so if you're just someone like me who at first didn't look like anything is making sense just keep taking your steps keep taking that one certification one or the other whichever one you can afford if someone had told me back in nigeria i'll be able to do a program in uk for all those millions i'm like <laughs> man i know i have faith but you're probably lying but i just thank god because you know i was able to work in uae and also pay for the uh to be able to pay for this degree i didn't have any parent or anybody sponsor it you know i was just opportuned you know i was just god just gave me the opportunity to be at the you know to be able to earn and to be able to do it you know and I'm, I'm just super proud of myself anyway long story short end of story end of story end of story that is how i got here thank you so much let me know if you have any question my email is always at the top of my channel and my instagram handle is also there if it's something private for you that you don't want to you know have everybody or if you don't mind like me just Put it in the comment section and I reply and somebody else might have the same question and they'll be able to see it. Then let me know guys. But yeah, this is how your girl became a bachelor degree holder. Older. And it's just it's just so sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much guys. See you in my next video.